Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. We're going to talk about the six inch domes for the indoor garden. Now, uh, I got these at Horrocks. Now, now, if you find them on eBay or any place, any place else, I've seen them for $25. And that is just the dome itself. Not the rest of the tray. So if you're going to do your indoor gardening, your home, your indoor homestead or what have you, if you get your microgreen farm going, the goji didn't make it. Goji berries not going to do it. But the peas over there are going to do well. And I don't know if I'm going to eat them or if I'm going to grow them. But I don't have a trellis in here, so I'm probably just going to eat them. Just so you know, I harvested that lettuce the other day. And... It's growing up fast already. It's regrowing. Everything regrows with the micro farm. A couple of these sunflowers, I want to go ahead and put them in because I believe this is a seven foot ceiling in this room. And I'd like to see one of them grow. And they'll probably be too big before springtime, but <laughs> I have to practice before, before it's warm enough. I got to see how that goes. I might take a section of this this is lettuce mix. I think I took six packages of six varieties of lettuce seeds and put them in there. But I might take a, a third of that and replant those so I could have nice heads of lettuce here pretty soon. The chia, I need to harvest a bunch of that here pretty soon. I'm going to be in here having another. I'm probably going to go get a chicken somewhere and uh, have a chicken salad. But we're going to go off. Yeah, the wheatgrass. Holy smokes. I need to start getting that in the, in the salads here pretty soon. This one is the radish sprouts, the pea shoots, and the sunflower shoots. So that needs another trim. I've already trimmed them down once. And they're coming back. Just like the wheatgrass. You can't tell the difference, really, of where I, I trimmed it first, uh, I don't know, a week ago. But it's already caught up with the rest of it. Microgreens are going good, so I'm going to continue this. We got this from this from Horax. Pete's Living Greens. It's upland cress. I got to look it up, but it's got roots, so I'm going to grow that too. But there's all kinds of ideas out there. I got to show you the peppers. The colors are quite uh, vibrant, but they're not going too fast. But these are <laughs> these peppers. I'm very happy. The fan's been running for the last couple days. I had two more flowers on the pepper. And I got two two more yellows on the uh, tomato. Oh, that's the old stock. The stock's been in here for a long, long time. <laughs> so usually I. I take some, I'll take a nice branch and I'll put it in a cloner and then I'll bury that shoot down here and get another plant going. So um, the cloner, the motor is running, but you can't hear the water. So I will, I will have to take that motor out of there and refurbish it probably. And the water is getting kind of yucky. I haven't changed it in a couple of days, but I just noticed it this morning and I had to let you guys know. Hey, well, clean it out with the faucet hopefully whoops so I just wanted to let you know the domes are like six dollars you don't have to spend 25 on them on, online if you go to Horax I don't know if they got them on Horax.com but I have one in here in Battle Creek and that's today's video and I'm going to go visit a homestead today I think it's kind of like a store and I think they have cabins there but I don't know I'm going to go there and at least do a drive by and check it out and maybe uh, go through a forest or something go for a walk it's a nice beautiful day outside and uh, have a nice sunny day